Hello Bonos, welcome to Gunnersbury FM, a World Cup edition. We'll be following all the Bonos games as long as they're in the tournament. And the Euros are a bit epic, but obviously this is the big one now. And Ireland have got here eventually. Um, they've got potential re revenge against Belgium, who have won the first game against Australia 1-0. So Ireland can't afford a loss here. It's as simple as that to go that far behind already. So we'll crack on. They've earmarked Gal as the key man. So let Mick McCarthy, how old is he? 67. So I thought he'd be older, to be honest. Okay, so uh, the teams are warming up. I didn't, shouldn't have clipped that. Or We'll go and see the team news, see how many good people are playing. There it is, the famous back four. It's been a long time coming, but finally, at the age of 28, blossomed. Roach, 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 Roach. Looks like we're wearing an, a, the Roach away kit as well, because these slugs are wearing a dark green. It's not confusing. So we've got McShane there, he's the number nine, and Baldwin on the left. So we've got as many of us as possibly could have played, other than Beasley's not in the squad, of course. Uh... As for Cameroon, they've got Dongu, Captu. These are all like Barcelona uh, B players when, they, when the game first started. So now in real life, they're going to be amazing. Dongu, Captu, Bagnac, Joel Matip's very good in real life. For Schalke, okay. So I will we'll take a draw here for, and then hopefully just better whatever Cameroon do against Australia and Belgium. We know we can at least compete with Belgium. Other than Courtois, it would have been would have been our day. But Harry Kane is getting treatment by the physio there. So again, Ireland under McCarthy, you know what they're like. Very hard to break down. Don't create many chances. But Kane's injury does look quite bad. He's down to sixty three percent. Hopefully, this rain suits the Irish. Cameroons are not going to know what's hit them. I don't know where whereabouts in um. America, this has been played. Baldwin nips in here, though. Could be on for a counter to Kane. Baldwin, good possession football. Plays into Kane, who shoots and scores. Baldwin with a good assist there. So Kane, despite being injured, he doesn't have one of the injury things on his head, so it makes me think the knock just took 30% fitness off him, but it will creep back up before just coming back down through fatigue. But excellent play from Ireland. You'd be surprised how you, you thought I was being slight bawdy racist when I mentioned the rain there, but it's actually quite true. When the conditions occur in the game, like snow or rain, it really affects the style of play. If you're a slick passing team and it's really bad conditions, like rain, the pitch cuts up and you just don't create chances. So if you're a direct team in this conditions, it will help. And uh, you'd imagine Ireland are quite direct on this counter and Cameroon are more of the footballing side. So I noticed Gal got booked again. These bookings do roll over. So if we are to progress far. We're going to need Gal. Go on, Lenahan. Oh, Kane. Redmond. Good tackle. I'm not recognising a lot of the other players. Like I know we've heard of Lenahan before, but he was a fullback and he's playing, seems to be playing wing. You get to see McShane even touch the ball. So Higgins direct to Kane. Bamford's on. I like Kane and Bamford throughout the years. They've worked really well together. They're like a, a Quinn and Keane. So as you can see on the Baldwin's got the highest rating so far. John on the ball. Plays it into McShane's feet. Little Gunnersbury triangle. Oh, John treading on the ball. But gives it back to Baldwin inadvertently. Baldwin's very direct to try to get those balls in early. McShane giving it to Kane. He shoots blocked down and could be countered, but John's intercepted. Plays a great ball through to Bamford who's got open goal. Scores, no flag, 2-0 Ireland. Excellent start. Uh, Jonahu showed great vision and craft, I think it showed there. It looked like just a lucky punt. He's intercepted it, just passed it through. Who knows if that was great vision? Only John will know. But again, this isn't a replay. I thought this was a replay. It's still quite early in the second half here. Into Kane, penalty surely. Bamford in off the post, 3-0. Look like a foul in the build-up, but Ireland are running right here. These conditions 
absolutely dream for Ireland. Qatar obviously didn't play to our strengths in the heat. England suffered as well. But this is in the USA, so it might be raining today. It doesn't mean it's going to be raining every game. It could be blazing sun the next day. So, But the fact that we're beating Cameroon now, or you'd hope we'd see this game out, means that a draw against Australia should be good enough. Baldwin caps off a great display with a goal there. Don't know what's going on with Cameroon's defence. Allowed him to turn and shoot. Forward then, takes a touch. Not a Cameroon player within four yards of him. It's criminal at set piece. But John's having a great game because that assist. Baldwin's obviously man of the match. Connor and Gal haven't done anything, but that's probably just because they've marked the two pacey Cameroonian strikers out of it and just physically roughed them up. And Dongu's quite small. Oh, Bamford, Kane, 5 0 Ireland after 64 minutes. I don't even think there was an attempt for the first. So that they're, they're really suffering. He's one of the best players who's got a knock, but I think Gal and Connor have just snuff snuffed them out. So Ireland, yeah, creating all the clip Ireland much more direct. No nonsense, not fucking about. Same amount of possession. But in that middle of the pitch, Ireland just seemed to get be ghosting through. Oh, it could be six, and it is. Harry Kane and Bamford, that was Quinn and uh, disallowed. That was Quinn and Keenness there, though. Ball up to the top, flicked on, in round the back, finish goal. So the only negative about the whole thing is just Gal's booking. But other than that, you'd have taken that one booking and a route. So John hashes the clearance. Dongu back to Nagando. To Kumaha. William Captoon. But again, a good tackling, hurrying him, not allowing him any space. And Cameron, you can see why they've struggled in this game. They're just trying to be too patient on the ball, but they're building up well here and hits the post and comes off the keeper's back for a corner. I didn't see who was in goal. Was it Alex McCarthy? I didn't see. Gal with a good headed clearance away. Falls kindly. And again, a strong tackle. And Ireland should be able to clear this, get, clear their lines. Great in the challenge again, Ireland. Very good tacklers. Kane, the Kane brothers working well. That's if they are brothers. The brothers from another mother. Burn and Kane. I haven't seen McShane dominating the midfield. It seems to be else unless he's been subbed off. But look at this. They can't can't get near us. So into the final minutes now. And out for a goal kick, and that will do. Excellent start. Can't wish for a better start. We've had this before, I think, though, in the last one. We smashed it and then lost our final group game against Qatar, wasn't it? And then got absolutely annihilated to Colombia. Colombia have actually knocked us out of the last two World Cups, so hopefully you can avoid them. But Bono, the change of allegiance, working wonders. He wouldn't be in anywhere near the England team, probably, if Monday can't get in. And Nathan Redmond, is that? Is he the one who played for Norwich? Is a yeah, he's really good in in real life as well. I didn't know he could play for Ireland. Got, Ireland should really look into that because he's not going to be probably good enough in real life to play for England. He could get a few caps for England, but great display there. McShane didn't get subs by the looks of things. Oh, this doesn't look accurate now. I think I've gone back and. Whenever I do that, bad things happen. I just wanted to check Redmond out, but it bodes well that we're smashing it when McShane got subbed after the hour mark, so that bodes well, keep him fresh, no injuries. The famous back four, this is what they can do. If we'd been starting from the age of 18, who knows what could have happened. And there wasn't so many injuries and things like that. But I hope you enjoyed the first group game, and England are up next. I'm not sure who they're playing, but... Uh, we'll find out in the next episode or part two. So see you then.